This video is going to show you some tips and tricks for using the Gmail app on your Android device. So if I tap the menu icon in the upper left corner of my screen, I see all of my labels which I've created in Gmail itself are here. I also see all the other Google accounts to which I have access to, all the other Gmail accounts to which I have access to on my device. So if I ever need to access those as opposed to my Caldwell Gmail account, I can always swap those out, swap those for something else. Just really easily touch those other accounts. What's actually really neat about the Gmail app on Android is if you want to see all of your email, all of your new email or all of your old emails, all pulled together into one single view, you can actually just tap this all inboxes label up here. And regardless of where your emails are in your personal Gmail account or in your Caldwell Gmail account, you'll be able to see them all together, but you always have the option of seeing them separately. So a few things about the Gmail app on Android is, again, I have all of my labels very, very cleanly that I created and that I use on Gmail on a computer. If I need to put anything into a specific label, it's just a matter of checking the circle next to an email. And if I look at these three dots in the upper right corner of the screen, I see I can move it around, and I didn't mean to report that as spam. I see what I can do is I can move it specifically from one label to another, so move it from my inbox to another label. I can also change labels, and I ha this gives me the ability to put this email in different parts of my mailbox. It gives me the ability to put this in multiple labels. Why this is actually really neat is, let's say a specific email has come in from a client, but it's also come in and it pertains to a specific listing you have set up. If you already have those different labels set up, instead of creating a really long label name, let's say with those, you know, with those two separate subjects um, merged together into one label, this allows you to put those emails in different parts of your mailbox. So when you're searching for it later, you can find it really, really easily going forward. I also see here, if I just need to get rid of something from my mailbox, I can easily just swipe it. What swiping something's going to do is it's just going to archive that email. It's not actually going to delete it. What archiving means is I can always come back to that email. If I go to this all mail section of Gmail, I'll be able to find that email later, but it's not going to my trash. It's just kind of getting out of my main inbox. A few other specific things that you'll see within the Gmail app. There might be times where you need to track important communication, whether about pending listings, whether from specific clients. You can easily just mark a star next to an email. I see the stars on the right side of these emails. I can easily mark those off, go to my menu in the upper left corner, and then if I just tap this star label right here, it shows me my most important emails so I can get to them a lot easier without having to dig through them later. Of course, if you do ever need to find anything later, you'll find that search works really well within Gmail. Just like Google search works, Gmail search works very, very similarly. As you conduct these same types of searches over and over again, Google is actually going to remember what these searches are for you. It's just memorizing searches in your account. So I can look up emails, let's say, from me. Can use other tags too, like if I use the tag subject, look up emails with a specific subject line. If I want to look up emails that I've sent to someone specific, I can easily look those up. What's actually about this search in Gmail is in the corner of the search, in the right side of the search, I see this microphone. And what this mic actually allows me to do is it actually allows me to conduct voice searches for things in my mailbox. I don't even have to type anything out. If I'm driving to, let's say, an appointment, driving to see a client, for example, I can easily just tap the mic and voice search which is what is in my emails to bring up something relevant and bring up something important. So that there kind of shows you some things, some tips with using the Gmail app on your Android device. Thank you very much for tuning into this video here and have a great rest of your day.